What up, what up, what up? Y'all know who it is. I just took the time to um, try to show you guys something. Look, as you can see, my release arm is in. This is the in position, right? But then for some reason, when I kept doing the turbo test, I'm noticing it's not, you know, it's not locked for some reason. So when I went under my damn truck, I don't know if y'all can look, y'all can see it in the that's the king pin, that little thing in the middle. Like, right here. That's the king pin. That's what they call the king pin. It's outside my lock jaw. It's outside my lock jaw. So therefore, I got to pull my release arm again and try again. Now why they say, even though you see the down the release arm in a lock position is not always locked. It is what it is, you know? All right, I'm about to try it again, yo. I'm about to try it again. It's in a lock position. The release arm is in a lock position. Let me get back under my truck. Boom. See that little bar? That little bar? That means that the, the lock jaw is around the kingpin. So I need a security lock. So I go ahead and hook up my lines and I'm Gucci, you feel me? That's why a tug test is important, but you can't always um, you can't always um, depend on your release on, even though it's in the lock position, that you're good. You gotta do a tug test, baby. You gotta do a tug test.